Hi everyone. I figured I would show you how to make flats, darks, and dark flats, or flat darks, or however you want to say it, using the ASA Air Pro. I've had a lot of experience with this recently. If you've been following me, you'll know why. And I've got to make a new set anyway because I've got my Hyperstar on here. I am Kurt Zepp, Menu Rushing Astro Quest 1. Okay, before getting started, you'll notice I got a paper bag over this thing. I don't know if there's anything you can do with the Hyperstar on here because I don't want to take it off and then every night put a dust cover on this. So I figured just putting a bag over the dew shield works pretty well. If anybody else has anything else, please leave it in the comments section. All right, first off, so let me first say that Astrophotography Tool, Nina, and sharp cap all have these great flat and darks and dark flat makers and all this and they those those programs are really good using the ISAIR pro it's a little trickier you got to do a few other things but it's still it's not that much more difficult to do it with the ISAIR pro now why not just do it with some of those other programs well a couple of reasons for one thing i'd have to disconnect everything and or i'd have to find a wire to go from here to the computer and so there's a little quirky things. You might want to just do it with ASR Pro because, as I said, it's it's just as easy. And something else that uh, Peter Zelinkas said mentioned that the gain settings on the Sharp Cap, for example, aren't the same gain settings as they are with the ASR Pro. But I don't know about that. But whatever. Since you're doing your imaging with the ASR Pro, you might want to make your flats and your support other support frames with the ASR Pro. Okay, let me run through the settings that I'm going to use. For doing flats, you want to have the gain setting the same as you took the light frames. And for my purposes, using the ASR 294, I had it set at 120. You also want to have the ADU setting in the middle of between really dark and really bright. And for my purposes, it's around 30,000 give or take 10,000. So anywhere from above 20 to below 40 should be good for an ADU setting. And for my exposure, you want to have something above two seconds. Now I've had it, I've had flats at 0.5 seconds. They came out pretty well. But just to keep all the flat guru people off my back, I'm going to recommend go above two seconds. And you also, I don't know if it's necessary or not, but I keep, it's really easy to keep the temperature set at whatever you took your light frames at. And in my case, it was zero degrees Celsius. For darks, obviously you wanna have the temperature set at the same temperature you took the lights at. You wanna have the exact exposure time. So if you took like 30 second exposures, you want the darks to be at 30 seconds. And of course you wanna have the gain setting the same. And for doing these dark flats, you want to keep everything the same that you did your flats with, only you just want to make it totally dark. And the dark flats are going to take place are going to be in place of the bias frame. So I'm not going to do bias since I'm going to do dark flats. Before actually making the flats, I figured I'd show you how I make the flats or and how I adjust the brightness on them. By the way, it's the following night. I've decided to do it at nighttime anyways. It's much better to do it at nighttime so I don't have any extraneous light coming in. So for my uniform light source, I'm gonna use this drawing board that I purchased. You, you really wanna have a nice even surface. And for my smaller skull, what I used, to, what I used was a tablet, but the tablet of course is much too small to fit over the uh, edge. So that's why I use this light board. You could purchase that Pegasus flat panel that has complete control over the dim settings and all that. And it's, it's the Cadillac version, but it's a little bit pricey. This thing works pretty well, but when you use this thing, it doesn't go as dim as you might need it to go. 
and so you have to do some other stuff. One, one thing which you can do is you can use this thing, which is a white t-shirt. I actually put the white t-shirt, mounted it onto one of those embroidery rings, and this works out pretty well. You can just throw it on here like that, and you're ready to go. You, then you just put this thing on here, and then you would turn it on and adjust it to your lowest setting, low, lowest bright setting. Now, if it's, this still may not be uh, dim enough, so you'd have to make it dimmer. Uh, what you can do is you can use a sheet of white paper, large white tracing paper is what I got, and I just put it in here, and I'm good to go. And if it's still not dim enough, you can just add another sheet to make it dimmer. So by doing that, you can, uh, you can adjust your ADU readings and you can adjust your exposure settings to get the, your optimal flat set you want. Okay, I think that's all. And let's go ahead and I'll make these flats. Okay, folks. I am outside in the garage and it's dark and I'm now going to make my flats. So first off, it's in the preview window right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure everything's on. And the guide, there's no reason for the guide scope to be on, so I'll keep that off. Uh, I don't really need the mount on, so I'll leave that off. And the focuser, I'll turn it on, although it's the, fo the focuser, I haven't changed the setting. So, because so, you want to leave the focuser the, the same focus as you had it when you were taking your lights. Okay, so now, and the gain's already set to 120, and I'm going to do a two second exposure. All right, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, that's way, way too bright, as you can see. This, you know, this, it, yeah, here's what the image looks like. So, one thing we notice here is on the bottom, there's a little zero on the bottom left. Then there's a 32,768 in the middle bottom. And then there, over here where there's a small little triangle that says 65,534. Those are your values. That's your histogram. And... What it's telling me right now is this thing's up to the maximum ADU. What we really want is somewhere around 30,000, I said. All right, so I've got it, you know, I've got my light panel on to the lowest setting, but it's still too bright. So now I'm going to put some couple sheets of that tracing paper in between the t shirt and the light panel. Okay. Now we'll try it again and see what we get. Okay, this looks better, but you can see where the histogram is still, it's still way over to the, um, it's not quite at 65,000. That black triangle is around 47,000. And, and you can see in the right bottom corner, it gives you a max, min, and average, and standard. So this is still, it's, the average is reading 63,000. So it's better, but it's still not dim enough. So I'm gonna put another sheet of paper in between. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, that looks good. And look where that value is right now, it's down to 23,000. That's good. It's above 20, below 40, so that's looking pretty good. Here's the overall image. Looks pretty good to me. Alright, now we're ready to rock and roll. So what we do is you come over to press preview. Then you go to where it says auto run. Press the three lines up here. And I'm going to change, uh, I'm going to reset this whole thing. So I'm going to press reset process. Press this, and I'm going to press flat, okay, 
and we're going to press the exposure to two seconds. Okay. And we're going to have it, we're going to make like 20 of them. Press OK. And I'm going to change that name up there. I'm not going to call it my last night star. I'm going to call it flats. Or flat. Yeah, flats. Okay, come back here. And now we're just going to press the circle again and it's going to make them. Oops. It, <laughs> it says auto shutdown progress. It's going to go, go to home position and turn off the camera and all that. No, I don't want it to do that. And that's how I had it set last night. So I'm going to make sure this is off and that's off. So the ASI Air is pretty good because it'll tell you if there's something quirky about your setup. And, and so that, it, I think that's quite nice. All right, here we go. And now it's making my flats. Okay, folks, the flats are done. Now, since I've got everything all set up for the flats, I'm gonna turn off the light board, turn out all the lights, make sure it's totally dark in here, and I'm gonna take a set of dark flats. The dark flats, or flat darks, once again, I don't know how to say it, if it's dark flats or flat darks, whatever, they're going to be the same exact exposure, the same exact gain, the same exact everything as the flats, only they're completely dark. So let me shut everything off and I'll do it. Okay, I had a little trouble and what happened was the camera has a little red light on it, the on off switch, and it's not a problem when I had the edge connected up because the camera sits in the back. However, since the camera sits up where the lens is, when I was trying to do the dark flats, that red light created light on the screen that the camera was picking up when I was doing the dark flats. So I covered it over with black tape, the little red LED light on the camera with a black tape. And now I'm gonna do these Flat. So I'm going to go back to auto run and we'll check out my settings and everything's going to call it dark flats and these dark flats I want them to be two seconds and I'm going to do 20 of them okay. And here we go. Okay, those are all set. So I did my flats, I did my dark flats, and if I wanted to do the regular old darks, you would just come up here to and reset the progress and you press darks and change the name the important thing with darks is you want to do it the same exposure you did your lights with and I'm not going to do that right now because I did three minute exposures and I've already done those actually I would probably take my camera off the whole system to do my darks but that's not necessary I can easily do my darks right now uh, with three minute exposures just make sure everything's totally dark and uh, let it rip but well before I let you go I'll go over that problem that that I didn't know about until after I made the video or started the video so this only seems to be a, an issue if you're using the hyperstar or rasa where you got the camera mounted in the front end so here's that little light that I'm talking about, the on off light, if you can see it. And that was shining on my flat panel when I was taking the flat darks. So what I did is I just covered it up with this little piece of electro curl tape and I put it on the front of it, uh, front of the little light and that seemed to fix the problem. 
Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this enjoyable, and we'll see you next time.